Hey everybody, it's Matt from Electric All Wheel. This video goes out to Mark. Uh, it is in regards to putting in the battery. dual battery discharge balancer to a high step electric uh, XP 2.0. Let's just get to it. Down here, I have one I've taken out what was my controller it has been modified so I don't want that to be seen so I want it to be as close to what you have this is uh, I think the fourth iteration so you can see the wiring difference but it's the same principally what I've done is I pulled the wires not even but close to even and then I removed the slack down below and we're going to want to remember to button this up when it's all over. This will be opposing the earlier video, but it's just a different way to go about it. I've managed to say that this is a good fit. What I want everyone to be cautious about is all of your connectors. The most fragile being this connector here, which is connected to your motor cabling. If you look on the side, you'll see that I disconnected this to get the slack needed right here. And I needed that slack here because it allowed me to get a nice even pull on everything, understanding where it was, make sure that all my connectors are together, and then it gives me enough of a turning radius on the wiring to get the controller in there. So now, you'll see a spacing right there above the controller and you'll also see a space right here on the left hand side. Remember all my wiring is down below so I've created enough. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slip the dual battery discharge balancer over the top and then I will use two of my main adapters and push it down into that vertical slot. So at this point, all of your connectors will bind up here on the right hand side and then your newly added dual battery discharge balancer cables go there and then you just put your plate on. So I'm going to come back and get on these wires underneath the controller housing and make sure that they don't get bound up. So I'll likely pull them through and then use some zip ties to go ahead and bunch them and make sure that there's no issues there. Don't forget to plug back in your motor cable. So there's the arrow right there. All right, so that's it. Mark, I hope this works out for you. Let us know. We hope to grow our product selection to help those with different e-bikes. But for now, we know it works here and we know what's, cap what's possible with the electric community. And I think that through that growth and that trust, we'll be able to do more. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. We'll talk to you next time.